YouTube just a quick upload. And what I want to show now is this is my methyl cellulose right here. I'm running a little low. And I want to show you quickly how I make my methyl cellulose glue. Here we have just a plain, clean glass jar that I wash out. Here we have is methyl cellulose. Now I buy it from Amazon. It, it is an actual cooking grade that you can use for cooking. And a lot of people use it in Latino cooking. And it's something that it's very inexpensive and you can just buy a pack like this. I don't know the exact amount, but it lasts a long time. So what I do, I don't measure, I don't get all fancy with amounts put in, things of that nature. But what I do is I will just put probably about that much on the bottom. So about half a bag of the methyl cellulose. We'll put a little bit more into the jar. Then what I do is we close it up. You don't need to wear any masks or anything because as I said, it's cooking grade. Then I just take regular water, not distilled, cold, and I will pour it in. And I pour in probably about halfway into the Poland Spring wrapper. So not much water. Then what we'll do is we'll close it and I'll give it a good shake. And we'll mix the water with the actual methyl cellulose paste. Let's put it back in there. I'll put a little bit more water to knock it down. And then actually what you can do is you can just use a brush to get all of the methyl, all of the powder down into the water, just like that. Push it down into the water and you just let this soak in the water room temperature you don't have to put it in the freezer or refrigerator or anything like that and then you mix it up just like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a tiny bit more water and now the amount of water that i put in is about a half of a 16.9 fluid ounces, so half of 16.9, which is approximately 8.5 fluid ounces for those who want to be technical with measurements, but it's not necessary. So what I'm going to do is just keep this in the jar and we're going to keep it overnight just in the water and then you'll see next upload or at the continuation of this upload, how this turns into a gel. So we're just gonna let this sit and let's wait overnight, or that's when I'm gonna check it because it's night when I'm filming this, and then we'll see how it turned into my methyl cellulose paste or glue that I use all the time. So stay tuned, we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes, and I just want to show you what it's turning into. It's slowly turning into the gel that I use, and then what I want to do is you go in there and you mix it up periodically. That's all you need to do. And I'm going to add a little bit more water to the mix. And this is cold water and mix it up and continue to mix it up to get it all mixed with the water. And this is how you make the methyl cellulose glue. So we'll 
put this to the side again. I'll close it up and we'll let it gel up and I'll mix it periodically. And by the time I'm done, we'll have some nice methyl cellulose, which as everyone knows, if you're doing this stuff with comic books, you need it. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. And it's been about three hours since I mixed my methyl cellulose and tap water or Poland spring water. And this is the methyl cellulose glue that is being formed. Now, what I do, number one, I, I changed it. I, I put it into a bigger glass container because I was unhappy with the other one I used before because it was a little too small and I knew I would be able to make more by adding water. Now I added hot water this time, just about a shot of hot water because hot water is also good to add once it starts gelling because it releases the bubbles. So again, this is gonna have to sit overnight and what I do is every hour or so I will give it a really good shaking and bubbles will be created. Then I open up and the bubbles will rise to the top and then I just pop the bubbles because all of the bubbles don't really make a difference. I like it more of a pure gel instead of having bubbles in it. And they'll wind up coming to the top and they'll dissolve and the hot water actually helps it a little bit better. So this is how you make methyl cellulose. And there's not an exact ratio, like I said, a lot of it has to do by looking at it by feel. I like my methyl cellulose, the consistency of syrup. So if you know what the consistency of syrup is, you can easily make it, let it gel up and then add a little bit more hot water. And you can still see there's little pockets of the methyl cellulose that will break down overnight. So this is good stuff, guys. If you're playing with comics, I like methyl cellulose better than wheat paste. I think it actually blends in better and I think it strengthens the paper better that's weak. So I'm Okay, guys, we're back. I did a little fast forward. This is the end product of the methyl cellulose. And as you can see now, it is completely clear. The last segment or last shot of the methyl cellulose, it was hazy and a little thick. So what I do is I let it dissolve overnight for a second night and I keep the jar open and basically the bubbles will rise to the top and the methyl cellulose will dissolve completely. This should be the end result of what you want, a clear liquid that has the consistency of syrup. That's how I like it. If you need it a little bit less thick, you just add a little water in a separate container and you can work with it that way. But this is the end product. And what you need to do is when it rises, it's sort of like clarifying butter. You will have the residue on top, which is a little thick. So what I'll do is I'll take my spoon and I'll remove the top layer of the methyl cellulose when it rises. And this is the product. This is beautiful methyl cellulose. This I use for all of my gluings to a large extent. I do use wheat paste at times, but this is the gold. This is what you need to use, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the upload, how to make it. And you always can tinker and mess around and try to figure out how to make it better for you. But remember, the clear is the best way, just like this. And you have to remove what rise to the top. And you always want to keep it open overnight and let it rise and use a spoon and take it out. 
So if you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned. And if you haven't done already, stop by and vote for Jerry the Jitterbug for the Comic Book Community Awards 2022. Thank you and stay tuned.